FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of, well, mostly green out there. You've got the Dow up 79 points. S&P's up 16. NASDAQ 100, 156. Russell is flat. Semi's up 44. Tranny's up three buckaroonies. Gold is off 1%. That's a move of $18 to the downside. Two and seven tenths for silver, 63 pennies. Natural gas off eight cents. And a 30 treasure up one point and nine ticks. Trade out at 113.25. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart would begin with the ES Mini. What do we know about it? Well, it's trading above the top of its daily profile, likely going to target that descending trend line, as well as its TD9 count breakdown resistance level. That's up at 44.30.50. It'll certainly be able to make that move as long as that spot volatility index continues to trade lower. It's very likely targeting the 1927, I'm sorry, 1428 level. That's the lower Bollinger Band. If we take a look at the NQ, it is blasting through all kinds of resistance out there, at least descending trend line resistance. And now what it's going to contend with is its TD9 count. No, it's already done that. It's just going to take, a, it's going back to its a swing point from back here on October the 12th. So we'll take a look at that during the uh, Trader's Edge show. That level, by the way, is 15,468.75. You close above that, you're likely headed to 15,719. We take a look at the U.S. dollar index. It is attempting to get back inside a new profile that is trying to form. We'll get a confirmation of this profile at the end of the day. Right now, the bottom of that profile is at 105.37. We're trading at 105.44. If price gets back inside that profile, it increase the odds of the U.S. dollar index running up towards the 106.29, 106.75 area. Gold is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. That's uh, 1975.60. You want to watch that at day's end. If you close below that, odds favor a further move lower. In the case of silver, still just consolidating with inside its profiles. That's between 22.53 at the support level and 23.30 at resistance. We take a look at light sweet crude. It is testing the area where it broke out from. That's at 78.51. If price closes below that, well, we're likely going to get an A to B equals CD to the downside. Natural gas has tested its one-to-one -one price projection level. That's at the $3.10 area. And what price now needs, a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point pattern. The case of the 30-year Treasury having a nice move. And in fact, if you could close today above the uh, level of 113.19, we're at 113.23. That'll suggest a further move higher. Is that, would be, that would show us that price closed above resistance. That was the top of that daily profile. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.